Hello, my name is Truta and I'm doing 100 days of Good Hair Days Hair Diary where I am also sharing how I feel, what's going on, what is my emotional state every day just so you get a snippet of the actual life, you know, not just the thing that you see on the screen but also like to promote the sense of normality and to demonstrate that yes feelings do fluctuate yes you know things happen and then in addition to that we still can do other things and basically how you feel is important so today we are on a day 63 i believe um and i'm going to be doing yet another hairstyle from this book and yesterday we did this twist and tuck and today we're going to do Gibson tuck. So this hairstyle is kind of like designed to be used when you don't have a all over headband, all over head headband. And basically what we need to do is, um, for example, we take the hair from the side and we roll, basically we take the bit of the hair like a strand of the hair starting from one side and then we kind of roll it in and we're working it towards the back of our head and then basically we continue until your hair is fully twisted and then tuck the ends inside your roll secure the hair into place with hair grips finish off this look with a medium hold hairspray so i don't know how it's going to work for me but like first step that I wanted to do is to create a parting like a little bit kind of like a parting on the side so it just gives a little bit feeling of um, you know where to start from so I'm gonna do it kind of like a bit sideways kind of like where the arch of my eyebrow is and so the parting doesn't have to be deep because we're gonna be using hair from the side like this so the rest of the hair can be combed backwards I gave it pretty good brush before I started because you know sometimes my hair gets so tangled that I'm like can I can you even hear you know my words with the brushing noise near the microphone most of the time I check and it looks like yes you can but but let's just do it this way okay so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to take a strand of my hair from the front and basically i'm just starting to roll it like this just to give it a start oh we have some dogs out in the street and then i'm adding another strand of the hair and I'm continuing to roll this kind of like the inwards. I don't know, maybe it is possible to do it without sectioning, but I'm thinking the sectioning would probably entangle the hair with one another better. And apparently this hairstyle is good if you have textured hair or hair that has been chemically processed, because I think that would give the volume like with my hair, poker, straight hair, you know, this thing that we are creating here is kind of pretty smooth. So I don't know overall how it will look like if I will get the volume air roll or not. And I'm adding some hair strands as I'm going around. I'm kind of towards the back a little bit. I'm just gonna turn around so you can see what's going on here. So I'm just adding, so I'm following the same logic as we did yesterday, except that we have no hairband and therefore I'm just twisting the hair around itself like this. And I think at this point what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a huge hair clip and I'm going to do the other side. big hair clip, which 
edge. Ah, yeah, okay. So I use this clip here, and now I'm gonna do the same thing, but from the other side. So, starting from this side, I'm gonna start by taking a section of my hair. I can feel some tangliness going on, so I'm just gonna twist it a bit to create a bit of a volume here. And then I'm just gonna add another section. I actually pretty enjoy this twist and tuck technique because it's very simple, you know, like with the plaits, you need to know which to add, when, then from which side you add some extra hair. But with this, all you do, you just kind of like a twist it. And you twist it and you kind of like, it's called twist and tuck. And I think that's exactly what it is. So I'm just adding extra hair from the back. And I think now I probably have all of my hair twisted. So now, actually I'm a little bit, I'm at, at a bit of a loss on what to do because my hair is pretty long. Maybe I needed to twist it from the bottom, but no, probably that wouldn't work. So I have this twisty thing here and I have this twisty thing here. Let's see what we can do if we kind of like finish the twisty action and then create it something where we could tuck the hair at the back. Like this. Okay, let me check first of all before securing it. Right, mm -hmm. yeah, I think that's probably what we're gonna go with. So, so now with all of this twistiness, I have four hair grips and I hope this is gonna do the trick. I have some extra hair grips on the ground if I need it, but I usually like to keep it to a minimum. Now, I think with this hairstyle, because my hair is pretty silky, so it's pretty slippery, I might need to add those few extra grips, but I think I'll know once I've done this, how safe or how kind of like tight or not tight it will feel. Okay, let me check from the back. So from the back we have a well, actually, it looks pretty nice. I suppose you could add some flowers or something if you wanted. How about, let me check actually, maybe I can pimp it up a little bit with uh, my famous original hairband, which I got when I went with a friend of mine. So, if I add this, at the back, what would it look like? Maybe I should put it on the front rather than, uh, than back. I think some flowers in here would look pretty cool. But I feel like I'm, I don't know, I feel like I'm doing a little bit too much of a floral combination today so maybe I'm not gonna do that but what it would really look good if you have some flower or something you could attach it at the back let me check I must have something like that so I actually found extra accessory that I think we can use in this kind of multicolored like elements of my tunic today and I actually decided I'm gonna add some extra clips just because it feels like if I move too much, this all big beautiful thing is gonna fall apart and it's never a good thing. The only thing that I need to make sure is when I put all of these clips in, in the evening, I need to remember how many that I have in so that I don't forget to take any of them. So I added two extra clips and I think that should hold it. And what I'm gonna do with this, so this one is gonna be purely decorative purpose. So look, it's kind of like this. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna slide it in 
at the back just above where I secured my hairs, hairstyle and basically I'm just gonna keep it there so it's gonna be like a decorative it's like a brooch I suppose it looks a bit like that and it just adds a bit of a color to combination like so something extra to distract from the clips even the clips are actually these golden and silver looking ones they're pretty neutral and they look decorative but i think it's nice to add that thing in too so this is the hairstyle for today actually i'm finding that i'm already memorizing some of the hairstyles and i'm like yeah once i finish this 100 day challenge i'm gonna be using this i'm gonna be using that i'm gonna be using this so there are lots of things and i think i will also be able to kind of tell to myself okay this one was pretty easy to make and at the end of the day i would have done all of them better or worse but you know some of them are easier some of them are not so easy and i think it de depends on your hair as well so but some simple accessories today and how i feel i feel much better i feel like i rested more now and i feel well i still feel like i need to do some chilling i've been also looking into my human design human design for those um who are familiar to astrology something like astrology but there are a few systems combined together and it is to do with recognizing your energy type your aura type I'm projector, so uh, my design is not created to do 9 to 5 or to have a sustainable energy long term anyways. My energy type is for guide, coach, uh, advice and lead. So it's kind of design so that I take short intensive tasks which needed to guide the force and then I go back and I rest and I study and I learn and then I come back in with with my knowledge and do that however that requires invitation so if I do that without invitation I'm just basically expanding my energy to the directions to people and the situations that are not gonna really appreciate that um yeah i actually noticed that usually uh you know when you don't really i can feel my inner child crying and also outside too um when you do some kind of advice or guidance without people asking for it it usually doesn't really get appreciated and then when people recognize you and what you do and they invite you in offering your guidance then it is met with a completely different energy so it's kind of time for me to step back a little bit okay or isn't it now if if i take the universal signs and i have a dog barking and the child crying that means my inner child is crying for attention but at the same time when i want to quit my inner dog says no is that highly spiritual or very funny? Well, it actually is all related, so... Anyways, so this is Gibson Tuck. This I have enjoyed very much, actually. I think I'm gonna do more of those once I finish in the future. And look, when I do the strands of the hair, it actually looks kind of like a bit plated situation. Anyways, I say my mood right now is probably 9 out of 10. I feel pretty good and pretty happy. Now it feels like it's kind of a little bit slower period after much intensity and I'm taking time to rest. So I wish you for today to actually also tune in into your inner guidance, especially if something is happening externally you know you say something and then some you can hear some sudden sound or you think about something and then there is the like something like tsh happening when that happens like tsh, kind of like a distraction you 
start to think certain direction, but then there's something in your environment comes in and does this. That means no, stop that direction. So if I started to say, should I quit and step back and then suddenly the dog starts to bark, what does that mean? No, 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 whoa, whoa, stop. Go back, go back. No, 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 you are thinking, but that's no, that's not the right direction. At least that's how I interpret it. So what's your interpretation of what's going on in your life? Tell me. So, and apart from that, enjoy your day and your evening and your inner guidance. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.